Very glad to have you back here. You're watching CVC News R. By also state governor Syriaki Dixon says Nigeria's lopsided structure and the politicization of law and order are contemporary threats to national security. He stated this while delivering a lecture speech at the Institute for Security Studies in Abuja. Our correspondent Habida Lawal has the reports. In spite of these challenges, addressing the 57 course participant at the Institute for Security Studies. Governor Syriaki Dixon explained that the present security challenges being witnessed in the country today was last experienced in the Civil War. He said the federal government and security agencies need to intensify efforts as killings are on the rise. But using the traditional disagreements between farmers and herdsmen, people have now hidden under that to do far more far more uh, damage to our country. So what is going on in the Middle West, starting from Benue, in Agatu, and then other places in Benue, to Taraba, to Adamawa, to um, Kaduna, and then, now recently, Zamfara, and even Sokoto, Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Nigerians, we are not dealing with a case of farmers' herdsmen clash anymore. What is going on is far more insidious. And we need to interrogate properly what is going on. Not only as a crisis, but as representing both a crisis and an opportunity. If you don't waste time agonizing over the crisis, but if we show the roadmap, we define the benchmarks and mobilize all resources towards achieving safe, though incrementally. That, in my view, is the hallmark of leadership. Seriaka Dixon also advocated for a form of restructuring that encompasses democratic accommodation. He said the police at the central are overstretched, thereby limiting their capacity to protect lives and properties. Over centralization of security powers and the politicization of security by the various agencies. Uh, is a major cause of instability uh, and poses a threat to national stability and security. Um, I talked about the centralized control. You have, to, you have to agree that there's an abuse at the federal level. And we shouldn't go into a debate as to which abuse is better than the other. All we are calling for at this stage is for a meeting of minds so that we can, just as our founding fathers did, craft an appropriate mechanism. Whether it is local government policing, whether it is the community policing, and if it is whatever at whatever level, the mechanisms and controls that we need to institute. The theme for the lecture was cultural values, national security and the challenges of contemporary governance perspectives from Bayelsa State experience. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.